I am quaking. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and sane and positive during this time. But I thought to lighten some spirits, we could do a little craft DIY moment. Uh, I think right now with the quarantine going on, it's the perfect time to craft at home. All right, so this is important. I have a rant to do right now, y'all. It has been so trendy all over. I have seen all over the internet, and y'all know I love trends, trendy moments. I have seen so many really cute tie-dye sweat sets everywhere, especially from Urban Outfitters. I saw this come into my email, and I was like, that's so cute. It's exclusive with Champion. It's an oversized, like, boyfriend-style tie-dye hoodie. So cute. So I click on it, and they only had up to a size large. So no. <laughs> I hop on the internet. I'm looking all over on my usual sites and further, trying to find, like, a super cute oversized tie-dye sweat set, because I've been seeing them everywhere. I'm scrolling through TikTok, I see them. I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see them. YouTube, I see them. But they're all only on like thinner people. So I can't find them anywhere for plus. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my own. So cute and I really want one. So we can make them at home. And hopefully if this goes well, you can do it at home too. But also it'd be great if some plus size brands could make these. <laughs> or if everyone could just be inclusive in their size range. I picked up this tie-dye kit. Um, I had it shipped from Target, so I'll put a link down below if you guys want to have one set to your house as well. They had like regular colors, but I picked up the vibrant ones. Looks like this. So it's really cool. It comes with fuchsia, salmon, yellow, lime, mint, teal, turquoise, and violet. The colors look so pretty. So I'm going to be making my sweat set. So I ordered from Champion because I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to copy this, <laughs> but for plus. So I got from Champion an oversized crew neck. I just ordered up a couple sizes with the cute little Champion logo. I also got a pair of men's joggers, also with the Champion logo. These are really nice quality. I noticed Champion's like really in right now, so I'm hyped to tie-dye these up. Got a cute little back pocket on this one. These are adorable. Seriously, these are like... Thick. So I told my fiance Yarmin that I was doing this and he wants me to make him a shirt. We're gonna make him a workout shirt with this tank over here, also from Target. Ooh, these are nice. This is really nice quality. Um, we got these from Target. They're for the pair of Thieves undershirts. They're really soft. They're like really good quality. So, so I only have one chance. <laughs> I only have one chance for mine. At least with Yar, he's got two shirts, but I've never tie-dyed before. I don't think I even tie-dyed when I was younger. So I'm trying to figure out what colors to use. I've watched several tutorials the last few days waiting for everything to come in. So I'm thinking for my colors, I'm gonna do like pink, purple, and blue. I think that'll be really pretty. I've seen a lot of sets looking like that. And for Yar, I think I'm gonna do like green and yellow and blue. So this kit is awesome because it comes with gloves, rubber bands, like pretty much everything you need. I hope, I just really want this to go well because I genuinely want to like hang out in this set. Oh wow, it comes with a ton of gloves. Oh, this is great for quarantine time. <laughs> great for social distance, going to the grocery store. I'm gonna go change into a shirt that I don't really care about <laughs> because I just thought about it and I am a messy prone person. Okay. That's bothering me. I'm in my fiance's bathroom. All right, read directions before. Definitely gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so it's pretty self-explanatory. I like this because it comes with this little manual that has a bunch of different looks. It even has directions on how to do each one, like the swirl, bullseye, ombre, crumple. Ooh, Yara wanted something like this one. So that's kind of like the crumple or maybe like a swirl I don't know I'm gonna, I'm gonna wing it I'm gonna wing it before I add water to all of these little guys let's just pick out the colors we're gonna use for Yarmin first for Yar we're gonna do blue yellow and green I 
I went ahead and mixed his colors, as you saw, and I'm gonna put down a large trash bag on top of the sink. That should be enough, because I got a little on my hands, and this stains a lot. Let's get his shirt in a good design. I want mine to be more pastel, so I might leave mine on for less time than his. I don't remember how to fold it. I'm having a panic, <laughs> panic moment. How to fold tie-dye shirts. You may spread some more water to help the shirt maintain its shape. I'm gonna try that twisty moment. I should do this on the floor. Okay, securing. It's in a pretty good circle, I think. I hope. I have truly never tie-dyed, and if I have, I don't remember. So based on tutorials, I kind of see people going like by section. This doesn't seem like a lot of product. Oh no. And it's like not sticky. Am I supposed to wet the fabric first? No. All right, I'm just gonna try to be sparing. I think I did enough green. Do blue. I think I'm gonna do the yellow on this last little section. I was trying to work like darkest to lightest so it wouldn't like affect the other parts. All right, that took all the yellow. I will say you use like half a bottle or all of it per shirt, so. All right, here's what it looks like. I don't see a lot of blue anymore. Hopefully the blue is still in here. So I'm gonna put it in this plastic bag. Now it's time to do mine. I am getting the joggers ready to go. I'm swirling up each leg. I just watched so many videos on different ways to do this and some people scrunch them, some people roll them, I don't know. <laughs> it's honestly really overwhelming trying to get the shape. Like, this one's pretty good though, it's pretty secure. Cause I mean like applying the dye isn't so hard. <laughs> Maybe I messed that up, who knows, but. Oh, this is not so bad. Okay, nice little circle. I really don't know how my hands are so dyed. Thank God my nails aren't done. All right, so I'm just gonna do two elastics. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, now. What to do with the ass? <laughs> Maybe I should have just brought my swirl up higher. Now the joggers look like this. We have like a bunch here, a bunch here. I also just realized I did not mix up my colors. So we're gonna do this pretty mint, purple, pink, and then also this light blue. I'm gonna do all these colors. Cause honestly, this is a lot of fabric between the top and the bottom and it's a sweatshirt material. So hopefully it will be enough. You know what? I'm gonna be smart. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder, ladies. And I'm gonna get my sweatshirt in order as well. Oh no, <laughs> I'm okay. The time has come. I'm so excited. 
I'm really nervous too. We're gonna rinse out the tie-dye. I have watched so many different videos, looked up tutorials, I've read the directions to this. Some of them are different. Some say to rinse it out with cold water and then wash it in hot. Some people say cold and cold. <sighs> I feel like cold makes more sense because it's like preserving the color. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want mine to be more pastel than yours, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out mine first. Ooh, these colors. Boo, come look at my colors. This is if it, if it looks something like this, this is exactly what I was going for. This is mine, honey. Nice, that's all your vibe. So my vibe. All right, uh, I'm gonna rinse these out and wash them. I love the color of mine though. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. On the oh, can you adjust the camera for me? Yours look nice, where? Just down to the sink. Please and thank you. See, I just hope that I like saturated it enough. So it's not like a lot of white. I have to rinse it like super thoroughly. Ooh, I like how it's kind of like turning the white to like a lilac. I just want it to be pretty. Okay, this, this looks pretty good. I'm kind of excited. This is what happens though. Whenever I do something like this, I have a lot of hope. And then I finish it and it's not what I want. That's so cold. I'm gonna keep my expectations a little lower. But I mean, it looks really pretty so far. Ooh. So pretty. <gasps> Shut the f up. Ooh. All right, you guys have to wait for the grand reveal for the rest. Oh my god, my day. Oh shit. Oh, That's Yarman's impersonation of my excitement. Y'all. That angle whip. So, just took them out of the dryer. Yo. Oh my god, oh my god, they're beautiful. Oh my god. Stunting. I love how like the background color is like a lavender lilac shade. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna put them on into a fashion show. Guys! I am quaking. Do you see me? Do you see me? Oh no, I won't. I won't. So absolutely obsessed like the hoodie or the hoodie the crew neck i'm gonna wear this so much i love the way it came out because the joggers are a little bit more fitted a little bit more feminine and like if they're super baggy which i love but i love that the top is like super baggy so i washed it with minimal soap in cold water uh, as a large load in the washing machine that's what people told me to do and then i dried it on no heat so Ah, I'm just relieved. I'm honestly just relieved that this was not for nothing because that was a lot of work. And this is exactly what I was looking for. I almost love too that the center is plain. Don't know how I did that, wish I could tell you. But this is something you guys have to try at home because I just love how popular these sets are right now. And they need to make them in plus, but you know what? You can make your own for a lot cheaper. <laughs> so I'll link below everything I used. Uh, Yarman's is still in the dryer, so check out his Instagram if you want to see when it came out. I'll put it on the screen. I love you guys. Fun quarantine DIY check. Let me know if you guys want to see any other fun DIYs throughout this time. All right. Love you. Bye.